Hi, I'm Donna White, Lead Smarty at TheSmartyZone.com. Over the last decade, I have had the privilege of working as an education consultant around the United States. I have visited with hundreds of schools, been at reading associations, presented at state conferences. I try to give small tips that make big differences in classrooms. Often, I'll get a note at my website that says, that one tip that you gave me really made a difference for me, Donna. I thought it would be fun to start sharing some of those tips online. So this will be Smarty Tip number one. If you've ever been a teacher that on Friday afternoon <laughs> says to yourself, if one more child says my name, I think I will pull out my hair, then this might be the tip for you. Create what we call the expert book. And so I call my kids my Smarties, so it's the Smarty Expert book. Put a title on the front. Have two pages, one for the back. You're going to eventually bind these together. You might want to laminate them. You just might want to use tough paper. Once you've established the cover in the back, then you need pages for the inside. You start to think about, do I need one person to do this job? Do I need two people? If you were to need two people to do the job, let's take this one. I don't tie shoes. And so the two choices for shoes are pull them tight and tuck them in or Look in the expert book for someone that can help you with your shoes. So if the job was shoe helper, and let's say that I need two. It's at the beginning of the year. Lots of kids need some help with their shoes. Then what we would do is we would put two people onto the page. These two people can help you tie your shoes. No one sees Mrs. White's picture in here. I don't help to tie shoes, but you can look for others in our classroom that do. Maybe it's a job that just requires one helper. You would have one strip that you could put the child's name onto. So let's say it's spell checker. In second grade, we have a spell checker, and the spell checker might be Connor this week. And so Connor can move in and out of the page. The jobs can change, but we have that page done. Computers. Always a nightmare if the computers are not working the way they're supposed to. Some classes now have iPads for the students. So... Let's get three people that can help with computers. Again, you just simply take their picture, stick them on to the page. Make sure there's lots of jobs so that everyone can have one. I think of some of the ones I've used over the years. The expert coffee mug finder. Everyone can be in the book. We could have expert um, custodian. The head custodian can help you if you're a little slow at cleaning up when we need to transition to the next activity. Word finder. That might be someone in your class that helps children with the word wall or help you, you find words in your dictionary or help you with getting a word that's a little better than the word that we overuse in our writing. But any job can be put into here. If you're the kindergarten teacher, be thinking of things like pencil, expert pencil sharpener, expert paint cleaner, expert um, milk carton opener. And if you are going through the grades and you're looking at first or second, be thinking about what are the jobs that eat up my time? Because those jobs could simply be put into an expert book so that the classroom children take on the responsibility of doing those jobs. That's tip number one from thesmartyzone.com. Stay tuned for tip number two.